All right, for those of you who remember doing trigonometry in school, you can forget it because ancient Babylonians may have had a better way of doing it. And now, thanks to a new discovery, it could change how we calculate math today. RT's Trinity Chavez has that story. Those of you who remember doing trigonometry in school can forget it because ancient Babylonians may have had a better way of doing it. And now, thanks to a new discovery, it could change how we calculate today. Scientists at the University of South Wales in Sydney, Australia, have discovered the purpose of a 3,700-year-old clay tablet, making it the oldest trigonometric table to date and possibly more accurate. Our research shows that it's a trigonometric table, so unfamiliar and advanced that in some respects it's superior even to modern trigonometry. According to a paper published in the journal Historia Mathematica, it's called the Plimpton 322. Discovered in the early 1900s, the tablet is inscribed with cuneiform script and has been of interest to mathematicians for years because it describes Pythagoras' theorem. And according to the researchers, the new data shows that it was the Babylonians, not the Greeks, who were the first to study trigonometry. We've known for decades that it's unusual sequence of numbers proves that the Babylonians knew the Pythagorean theorem a thousand years before Pythagoras was born. However, unlike today's trigonometry, Babylonian mathematics used a base 60 instead of the number 10, which is used today. Because according to the experts, 60 is far easier to divide by 3, resulting in more accurate calculations. The Babylonians counted in base 60, the same system that we use for telling time. This has many more exact fractions. It doesn't sound like much, but this allowed them to do a lot more exact division. One hour divided by three is 20 minutes, exactly. By using this system, the Babylonians were able to make calculations that completely avoided any inexact numbers, thereby avoiding any errors associated with multiplying those numbers. Dr. Mansfield added that it's very rare for the ancient world to teach us something new and believes that this system has huge potential for applications in surveying and education. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work use in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.